Vampire Diary. A great man once said that comic books offer a world of color and wonder, but they conceal a dark side of shadows and fear. I think it was Churchill, or maybe my Uncle Waldo. He hates comics. Anyway, it's the perfect introduction to an absolutely scarylicious adventure I like to call Von Creepsula Runs Amok. Comic book conventions are the best. Where else can you find so many famous people in one room? Yeah, we've met Captain Alabaster, Fancy Cape Man, Mole Boy, Squirrel Girl. Oh, back issues of my favorite comic book team, the Double Y Men. Double Y Men Adventure Classics. Oh, a new title. Favorite forgotten recipes of the Double Y Men. That man, it's him. Oh, hey. And before anyone could say, look out, kid, you're stepping on my comics. Look out, kid, you're stepping on my comics. Previous yeah. regards from Von Creeps. Yeah. 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 Ah. Ah. Get off me, kid. If you want an autograph, stand in line like everyone else. Hey, you're not my main nemesis and most hated rival, Von Creepsilla, King of the Evil Vampires. No, I'm Walter Fishman, an actor hired to wear this suit and sell the new Von Creepsilla toy line. Oh, sorry about that. I should just stick to dinner theater. It's probably not the first time he's been mistaken for the real thing. I'm sure he's got people trying to stick stakes through his heart all the time. Von Creepsula number one! In mint condition! It must be worth a fortune! How much? I want to buy it for my best buddy here. No, Charlie, I... $150! Or we could work out a trade. I see you collect the unusual double Wyman. Have any old issues? I've got them all! Giant size, unusual double Wyman number one, double Wyman 94 to 100. Deal! Well, uh, I didn't really want to trade all my comics. Forget it, Charlie. You don't need to get me Von Creepsula number one. I already have it. You do? I have to see it! This is where I keep my most prized possessions. Like, my diary, my vampire vision glasses, a ball of 100-year-old bubblegum, rumored to contain a werewolf's tooth, and the very first issue of Von Creepsula in mint condition, sealed in plastic. I have to read it! Well, uh, it's not that I don't trust you to take care of it, Charlie, but, uh, you see, I wouldn't want to accidentally release the evil Von Creepsula from its comic book prison. Huh? Ages ago, I dueled the dreaded Von Creepsula in the ultimate battle of good versus evil vampires. Take that, King Creepy! I imprisoned him in his comic book world, the gateway to which just happens to be this issue of Von Creepsula number one. Huh? Gee, Mona, I thought we were best buddies. But I guess if you don't trust me... No, Charlie, I do trust you. It's just that, well, uh... Here, bring it back tomorrow. Wow, do you really mean it? I'm going home to read it right away. Take your time. And don't worry, because I sure won't. <laughs> shouldn't be worried. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? You're done, could you tidy up a bit? Hello? Hiya, Charlie. How are you enjoying the comic book? I'm just about to start reading it. Well, just wanted to remind you that the print on the page is very delicate, and the natural oils from your fingers could corrode it. Okay, okay, I'll wear gloves. 
Uh, don't worry, Fang. Charlie's my best buddy. He'll make sure nothing happens to my comic. Thunderstorms are usually a sign of trouble. Hmm. I wonder if this has anything to do with Von Kreese. I better get over to Charlie's place and come up with a plan, just in case. And while I'm there, pick up my comic book. Mm. Hi, Mona. What are you doing here? I've got a feeling Von Kreepsla is planning an escape from his comic book world. We need to come up with a plan. And I need to get my comic book back. Your comic book? Oh, no! Mona, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to wreck your comic book. Charlie, do you realize what you've done? Not only did you ruin my most prized thing in the whole world, but by letting the ink run out of the comic book, you released Von Kreepsula from his prison into our world! Ah! Where are you going? I have to recapture Von Kreepsula. I'll come too. I can help you. No thanks, Charlie. Obviously, I can't trust you anymore. What about your comic book? Keep it. It's useless now. I hurried home for a quick equipment check. Thanks. Check. Vampire vision glasses? Check. Pocket light? Check. Mona, it's Charlie. Tell him I'm busy. Come on, Fang. Sorry, Charlie. She uh, just stepped out. Can I leave her a message? Uh, no thanks. <sighs> I started my hunt for Von Creepsilla by going to the most obvious place. The park. If you want revenge, this is where he'll come looking for me. Hmm, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he isn't interested in revenge after all. Ah! Mona the Vampire, we meet again. <laughs> Charles, dear, would you like some ice cream? The little sweetheart tidied up after all. Hi there. Changed your mind about the trade? Meanwhile, I was confronting Von Creepsla. In the first stage of our duel, we did battle on the monkey bars of doom. Then we exchanged vampire blasts on the swing set of chaos. Then we tried to outlast each other on the merry-go-whirl of Kappa. <laughs> So, the best vampire has finally won. Prepare to meet your doom. No! A brand new copy of Von Kripsula number one! Just like that, we had entered the comic book world. Welcome to my world. <laughs> hey! <laughs> What's going on? You are trapped. Trapped forever! <laughs> and it's over! We've lost! Not yet, because there's something Von Creepsy I 
didn't count on. My secret anti-evil vampire pocket light. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. If it wasn't for you, I don't know what would have happened. No problem. After all, what are friends for? So, what do you want to do now? You can come to my house and watch Attack of the Slime Munch for the zillionth time. Sounds like a plan. And so ended my second meeting with the nefarious Von Creepsula. Well, diary, that's all for now. Till next time. Good night. <laughs> for school every day this week, and he didn't show up for our field trip yesterday. Do you think he may have been kidnapped by pirates? Regular pirates? No way. Only interstellar space buccaneers could keep Zatman from visiting the Insectodome. It's possible he contracted galactic bacteria while we were rescuing the white dwarves on Mars Inc. 7. That'd keep him in bed for a while. Or maybe his alias Charlie is busy doing homework. Charlie? Studying? I don't think so. My vampire senses tell me there's something weird going on with Charlie. Charles! Turn out your light! Charlie's late for school again. He's in big trouble. And I mean big trouble. Indeed! <gasps> Very big trouble indeed! Uh... Good morning, Principal Shabley. Lovely day. Good morning. Now, off to class, you two! I smell a tardy slip. Class, this is a computer. Now, the first thing you do when engaging yourself with a computer is turn it on. The on button has to be here somewhere. <laughs> Charlie, you're late. Fourth time this week. I suggest you go have a chat with Principal Shobley. Uh-oh. Yes, Miss Scotto. Class, back to work. Look, everyone, look! I bet I look even more beautiful on a computer screen than in real life. <laughs> wow, Angela, I bet it's like looking into a mirror. <laughs> Late every day this week. I assume you have a good explanation. Uh, well, it's that uh, I slept in because I was up very late playing Star Clangers 2. Star Clangers 2? What on earth? It's the greatest computer game in the world. Oh? Give it to me. When you beat the game, a super fantastic secret ending is revealed. A super fantastic top secret ending, you see? <laughs> Charlie's still in Principal Shobley's office. Something weird is going on here. It's quite a game, Charlie. No one has ever come back from Principal Shobley's office with a smile before. See you tomorrow, maybe? Huh? <laughs> hey, Charlie, want to come help us stop another White Dwarf UFO invasion over at City Hall? He looked right through us. It's as if we weren't even here. If he was in his right mind, Charlie would never do that. Something's gotten into Charlie, but what? What? Adventure time out. I want to pick up the Star Clangers 2 game. It's supposed to have a brilliant ending. My dad says computer games are a waste of time. Dad, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, hi, sweetie. I uh, just dropped by to pick up a copy of Star Clangers 2. But, Dad, you don't like computer games. Oh, well, uh, gotta run. See you at home. Here it is. Would you like anything else with that? Maybe a Buzzo Media Mega Coke producer with 38 DTIs? Just the game, please. Uh, hey, how about a Skinny Scan 27,000 with the computer virus eradicator as a throw in? Mona, 
Is it just me? Or does everyone look like they've stayed up all night playing computer games? No, they look like they've contracted some horrible virus. A computer virus that turns them into computer pod people. The cyber cafe was so close. Oh! <gasps> I hope this place has takeout because we've got a run! <laughs> oh. We made it! <laughs> Mom! Dad! The whole town is crawling with pod people! Oh, hi, honey. Care to join us in a little game of Star Clangers 2? Fun for the whole family. Oh, no! Mom and Dad are infected, Fang! It's gotta be that dumb Star Clanger 2 computer game. And it's up to you, me, and Lily to save the town from... Oh, no. She bought a copy of the game. Quick, to the hotline! Princess Giant isn't answering. She must be in trouble. Emergency! Bye, Mom, Dad, or whoever you think you are. Bye, honey. Don't be late. I can't wait to try out this game. Welcome aboard Star Clangers 2. Quick thing! If you make it past the final level, a wonderful surprise awaits you. Here we go! Lily! No! Lily, it's a trap! Stop the game! Congratulations! Keep going! Lily, no! no Mona? You lost! You cannot know the secret! Huh? Hey! I wanted to figure out the super surprise ending! I'll tell you the big secret. Right at the very end of the game, the super fantastic surprise is that the game infects your brain. And the player becomes a pod person forever. But that's horrible. How do we stop it? I have a plan. Follow me. Hello, ladies. And what can I do for you today? We need something to get rid of a computer virus that's infecting people's brains. The humanoid hard drive. Hmm. How about a 3ZZ Viral Destructo, or we got the ever-effective Destructor DDT, and the Eradicator. We'll take them all, and one scanner, and one Super Mega Ultra Power Water Zap Gun. We don't carry water zap guns. What? And you call this a computer store? Oh, but I have got something else. A computerized Super Mega Ultra Power Twin Carbine Water Ray Gun. We'll take everything. We're gonna need it. We have to find the very first Star Clanger 2 game in town and eradicate the virus inside. But who would have it? Hmm, the first game in town. Wouldn't that be Charlie? Of course! Charlie's always the first one to get all the new games. gonna need those for Charlie's computer? Exactly. I'm reformatting these CD-ROMs, liquefying their antivirus, um, components. Then, I'll suck them up in their liquefied state. She may have lost him forever. Quick, plug in the scanner. It's plugged in. Are you ready? I guess. And now, me. Everything is going according to plan. Let's go! Uh-oh! Giant alien squid! They got Fang! It's party time, dancing squiddies! Come on! Let's go attack the undefeatable alien mothership! Do we have to? Yep. Ooh, Lily! I must get to the ending before it's 
too late. But the Aryan force field is too strong. You must surrender and let your citizens become pod people. Never! Congratulations, you've beaten Star Clangers 2. The fantastic secret message is to be continued. Watch for Star Clangers 3, coming soon to a store near you. Order yours now. What a ripoff! It was supposed to reveal a super fantastic secret. This is the worst game in the world. Well, at least it's better than being a pod person forever. <laughs> That Star Clangers 2 was a total waste of time. To be continued? Some secret hidden message. What a ripoff! I'm going to tell Charlie a thing or two about this stupid game. Well, after another death-defying adventure into the creepy unknown, we've saved the world again, and everything seems back to normal. No one will be staying up all night playing this computer game anymore. Now I can find out what all the big hullabaloo is about the super fantastic secret ending to Star Clangers 2. <laughs> now, where is that on button? How do you turn this thing on?